It's hard to believe it's been five years since the launch of NYCNG. And tonight we're celebrating the milestone anniversary with the entire CNG family, as well as a host of great designer fans and friends. Come along as we learn how the magazine has evolved in a half decade and how the NYC design scene has changed. I'm Kendall Zappa and this is Editor TV. Congratulations on the last five years. This is an amazing accomplishment. In your opinion, what makes NYCNG so successful? I think it's successful because we reach such a focused audience. It's people who love design and love the New York region and everything that the New York design community has to offer. It is truly dedicated to the New York region. So, and people love it because you can see the house on the hill, you can see inside that shop, you can see the architect that you've always wanted to see his work. So there's a very personal connection to New York. Now in the past five years, in your opinion, what do you think has changed in the design world? There is so much more variety today than there was five years ago. It's crazy. We all did the same 10 or 15 sources. And I'm not talking about restoration hardware, and but we all do this. There is so much variety today. And I take my clients to Brooklyn all the time, and they're like, I didn't even know these places existed. So the people that are out there, it's amazing. You know, for a while there was just only mid-century, but it's now it's really moving. And I do predict that antiques are going to make a comeback. You heard it here first. Antiques are making a comeback. A lot of people are on Instagram and a lot of people are doing all sorts of social media things to make design a lot more approachable for a younger audience and it's, it's great. Do you have any specific story or any section that you love or an issue that you remember over the past five years? Well, I love to jump right beyond that middle section of real estate because the minute you pass through that, you get into the projects that they showcase. And that just never ceases to amaze me. I think that they have a really, they have a, sort of a chic approach to the interviews of real estate. They have a very savvy and kind of cheeky New York feel that's very specific to our region about real estate. I always pick it up. What does the magazine mean to you? NYCNG is amazing because they really do bring a community of designers and architects together and they're so hands-on and the people there, I just, I, I get goosebumps when I think about it right now because they're just, they're all so great. NYCNG represents the design, eclectic New York City environment that they pull together in one magazine and they share so much style and energy from all the great designers and homeowners that allow us to do our job. So can you tell me a little bit about the relationship between NYCNG and Lieg and why it was so important to host this event tonight? The sense that they have on the product and the design the community in general is make us very, very proud of being our partners for so long. So we decided to help them on this very nice uh, event of the anniversary. So tell me a little bit about what's new at Lieg and, and how the company's been evolving. Well, really the big development with Lieg is Deborah Lieg, who's Christian's wife, has become the creative director of the company. So you'll see a lot of our showrooms are now kind of morphing and developing into a slightly different look, still Christian's DNA, but with a softer edge, more feminine, different fabrics, softer colors. So it's been a pretty big change. Five years strong and many more to go. From all of us at Editor-at-Large, happy anniversary NYCNG.